Hello, I am Alicia Malik. I have came to the screen of Shiro Vision with some new pieces of news for you. Bihar Bandh Life Updates Protesting students burn tires, block roads over railways, job exams, results. Protesters have blocked roads in Bihar, but not in support of the bond called by the students over alleged discrepancies in railway required exam. Thousands of students took to the streets of Bihar to protest against alleged irregularities with the railway requirement road examination procedure. The protest started after several students claimed that there were discrepancies in the RRB requirement process. The anger of the student arises from the fact that the government decided to conduct two computer-based tests for the RRB non-technical popular categories. The result for the CBTI of Group D was released on January 14. Shortlisting candidates for CBT2. The protester claimed that this criteria for requirement was not mentioned in the RRB notification in 2019. They said that the government had mentioned only one exam in notification. They said it was unfair of the RRB to ask them to appear for another examinations. They accused the officials of playing with the future of the students. The are police registered an inquiry against YouTuber Kansar and other in partner in connection with the violent protest over result in the railway department exam. U.S. locks over 3,000 daily COVID deaths, Finland to ease curves. Finland will begin gradually easing COVID-19 restrictions from February 1, instead of mid-February as initially planned as the burden on its hospital eases, the government has said. In the U.S., over 3,000 COVID deaths were reported today. The United States had reported over 3,000 new COVID deaths physically. Physician and scientist Eric Topol tweeted more than 3,000 American COVID deaths reported today, 7 day average 2,500, and the sharp continued rise indicates this peak may exit that before there were vaccines, which is unfathomable. The United States had the world's largest official death toll from the coronavirus pandemic, with over 870,000 record deaths. The total number of cases stands at over 72 million according to the U.S. Centers of Disease, Control and Prevention. On January 18, Prime Minister Sanar Maru said Finland would begin scaling big restrictions from mid-February, but signs of the stabilization in the infection rate caused by the Omicron variant of the virus led the government to alter its plan. The burden on intensive care units has taken a turn in a better direction. Finland's Minister for Health and Social Affairs, Hanna Sarkin, told reporters. The government decided to start the cautions easing by loosening restrictions on the hours restaurants and women open to 9 p.m. From the mandatory 6 p.m. closure currently in place, Sarkin and said. It also recommended local authorities allow reopening of cultural and sports venues such as gyms, swimming pools, and theatres from the beginning of the February. No hijab and student police targets, says Kerala government. The Kerala government on Thursday said that it cannot allow students to wear hijab and full sleeves as part of the uniform of student police cadets, a project involving high school students of various schools in the state. The plea by a Class A student was initially filled with the High Court where Rhea directed it to the government. The government took the firm stand that adding religious symbols to uniforms would be inappropriate. It would give the wrong message and similar demands will rise from other such units which should be secular in nature. It is to be noted that NCC and Scouts and Guides also have uniforms with no connections to religious backgrounds of the students. The idea behind the student police project itself can, was to create a generation which places nation above all differences of background. 
the state nodal officer of the student police cadet was also not in favor of the allowing religious symbols and gave a report denying the demand and political out the negatives of following such as a thing. No such demand has risen in the past 10 years of the cadet existence, the official pointed out in the report. Combined religious matters with uniforms in the present situation would raise the same demand in other similarly functioning forces, which would question the discipline and secular survival of the forces. The order issued by the Joint Secretary of the Home Department said, Zero Vision Shabar Shati Shabar Pashi Zero Vision Zero Vision Aj Kolkata Totha Gram Bangladesh पश्चिम बंगे साधारण मानुषर पास दाड़ी जिरो भीषण सवार साथ सवार पास जिरो भीषण मतन सवार पास दाड़ाते आसन ना सहाजे हाथ बाड़िए दी अपारा जी सहा करते चान तलार ही नम्बरगुलर जो करते प्रत्येकटाई जिरो भीषण संस्थान नम्बर भलो थकून सुस्थ that's it for today for me and my team thank you for watching please stay safe and stay at home if you like our channel please do subscribe like share and comment thank you